Hello everybody and welcome to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Again, this one is a 6 on 6 battle against my friend Wally. Uh, we're both trying different teams and I, I decided to go for a double battle seeing as this is uh, VGC standards. Um, anyway, he leads off with a Togekiss and a Ferrothorn. Uh, I was surprised to see the Ferrothorn actually. And I'm going to go with Mamoswine and Hydreigon. Uh, and his Togekiss is holding the Quick Claw which comes into effect and he uses Flamethrower against my Mamoswine. And uh, Hydreigon also uses Flamethrower to take out the 4 times weak against Fire, Ferrothorn, which is great. Um, I use this turn to set up my standard Stealth Rocks, uh, seeing as this is a 6 on 6 battle. Uh, it's going to drag out for quite a while, so I definitely want the Stealth Rocks out there. Right, here comes out his Frostlass and Mamoswine using the Ice Shard to get in some hits against Togekiss. Um, then the, 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 the Ice Beam from Frostlast nearly takes out my Hydreigon. Luckily it didn't because, again, another Flamethrower. <laughs> Seems like this is a Flamethrower heavy match. Takes out his Frostlass in one hit. So um, he's down by two Pokemon and I'm down by one now because Flamethrower takes out Mamoswine. fine. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a very interesting match. I'm doing quite well at the moment. Out comes his Ampharos, and from the lineup I saw this was his only Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. So I'm expecting it to Mega Evolve, and um, there goes the, the Self Rock damage. And it does Mega Evolve, which is great because I went with Hydreigon's Dragon Pulse, seeing as Mega Ampharos is part Dragon type. Um, breaks the mold, <laughs> and there we go, Dragon type. Uh, Dragon Pulse does all the damage it needs to do. You know, Mega Ampharos is an awesome Pokemon, its special attack is humongous, it's monstrous, but uh, it's super slow and it's really frail as well. So here comes the Dazzling Gleam finally, I was expecting this the whole time Hydreigon was out there on the field. Uh, takes out my Hydreigon and uh, doesn't do hardly any damage against Farathorn, which is marvellous. So Farathorn uses spikes, so I'm now getting an extra layer of um, entry hazards in, and uh, I'm going to send out my brand new Quagsire. I bred a completely new one, this one has unaware as its ability, it's got perfect IVs and everything other than special attack, and um, it's got full defense and full hit points, it's a beast of a tank. <laughs> so fearing for the life of my Ferrothorn after seeing Magmortar, I switch into Alakazam, and um, look at this, the, the flamethrower just obliterates it, and Dazzling Gleam from the Togekiss finishes it off. Again, <laughs> I cannot get a single attack in with this Alakazam. Um, Quagsire goes for the Toxic, which is there to just sort of slowly take out the damage from the Togekiss. I really like this Quagsire. Usually I go with Worn instead of Toxic, and I go with Waterfall instead of Scold. Um, but I've switched it around, and this Quagsire is working out way, way better than I could have expected. So, out comes my Ferrothorn. Uh, it's a bit annoying because I've only got two Pokemon left, and they're both four times a week against Fire. I bet you can guess what the last one is. Uh, Dazzling Gleam does actually quite a bit of damage to Quagsire, I didn't expect that. And uh, of course, Flamethrower takes me all the way down to zero HP for my poor Pokey. <laughs> and um, that means, uh, oh wait, no, Quagsire goes for the Scold. As I was saying, um, usually I go for the Water Ball because it's an attack heavy move, but with this Quagsire I'm going for a very defensive role so it, hasn't, it doesn't do much damage. Uh, but it does damage where damage is needed. Uh, in retrospect, I should probably go for the Earthquake. I just didn't want to take out my own Ferrothorn, but, you know, <laughs> I should have expected that. So, of course, my final Pokémon is Scizor, and I'm going to Mega Evolve it. Mega Scizor, whew, it is one of my favourite Pokémons. It does me so much good. Um, I'm going to go for the Bullet Punch, just because I need to take out that um, Magmortar as quick as I can. And I do, which is great. But then, its ability, Flame Body kicks in and burns. Scizor, which halves my attack stack, you know, Scizor, Mega Scizor has a huge monstrous attack, but uh, unfortunately it's now been halved. <laughs> so this Quagsire of course runs Recover, uh, it's a very tanky Pokemon, it, it does, it, I mean Leftovers is wonderful for it because it, it does heal back a lot of damage, but uh, Recover is there and <laughs> I'll tell you this, Recover has saved my butt a lot of times. So out comes Wally's final Pokemon, it's a Greninja. And um, it's going to be a huge problem with me. Uh, I get down a bit of its health with the spikes and the rocks, uh, stealth rocks, sorry. And uh, there's the flamethrower to almost finish off. No, it does finish off my mega scissor, which is really annoying. Um, I go, I think I go with the scold. 
after I see Greninja use Dark Pulse, and um, it's a Protein Greninja, and I've seen this before, but I've never actually battled it. Um, protein, its ability, changes it to a pure type of the attack you use before you use the attack, so you always get the same type of attack bonus, and can really mess up with your other opponent's moves, like what they're going to use, and it's amazing, <laughs> and I want one. Um, so I go with a Scold from Quagsire, and then Toxic takes out the Togekiss. So we're now down to one Pokemon each, and uh, this is where things get really interesting. Um, extra Sensory, he uses Extra Sensory, um, which is really interesting actually, Psychic, because um, with the other moves Quagsire, uh, not Quagsire, with the other new moves Greninja has access to, I really didn't expect it to have um, Extra Sensory, but still, um, it, it took out a big deal, a uh, big chunk of health, and um, I am going to go... Did I go with the Recover? I forget. Anyway, Leftovers heals up both of our Pokemon, and um, here goes with the Ice Beam, and this is what really messes me up. The Ice Beam actually freezes me, and <laughs> the battle starts to get really interesting now. Um, I'm Frozen Solid, I can't attack. We both heal up some health using Leftovers, you know. Here's Green Injured now at full health. And then something rather weird happens. I wasn't looking at the screen when this happened. But um, I saw I saw it come up with, um, but it failed. And what happened is Wally had accidentally um, attacked his non-existent team member with um, Ice Beam. So luckily I fought out. I used Toxic. I wasn't really expecting it to happen. Um, I should have really gone with the Recover. I wasn't expecting to fall out. I was expecting to die. And then Wally goes with one more Ice Beam to finish off my Quagsire. <laughs> Well played, it was a really interesting match, we both had some really stupid moments, but we both had some really good moments too. So this match really did spell the end for my ideas of using Alakazam, I'm not going to use him anymore. After seeing that Grey Ninja, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away now, <laughs> I'm going to say, hey Alakazam, goodbye, see you later, sorry you're not working out, you're off the team, and uh, I'm going to go and get myself a Grey Ninja. So thanks for watching this Wi-Fi battle video, let me know in the comment section what worked well and what didn't. Uh, I finally actually leveled all my Pokemon up to level 50, because someone pointed out in the comments last video that that makes a big difference, uh, as well as having, you know, Quagsire and Ferrothorn uh, completely EV trained and bred for IVs as well, it's great. So thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys next time.